Yes, I am drinking soda out of a wine glass because I'm too young to drink, but I still want to feel like a classy bitch, so. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel and welcome back to another vlog. So I am about to film a Halloween video, a Halloween writing video, and I want the setting to be a little bit spooky, but I don't have any spooky places and I figured this wall behind me could turn into a spooky area for me to film my video. So I'm going to be taking all of this stuff off the wall finally after a decade of it all being there and then we are going to decorate it for my Halloween video that's coming up. I can't promise it's going to be that great because it's not, I don't have a lot of decorations or anything but hopefully it sets the mood. And it's nighttime and I feel like filming a spooky video and getting all glammed out. I don't know why. It just kind of happened but let's take this wall down. I know there's like a huge shadow on it, but the wallpaper is just coming off with this tape. This tape has been here, as I said, for around 10 years. So it is definitely on that wallpaper real good. This is what happens when you don't take wallpaper off before you paint the entire wall. And then you have something stuck to it for 10 years. And then you try to take it off. So that's what I'm dealing with. And every single thing on here is going to do that when... I try to take the picture off so I'm gonna have to either repaint this wall or cover it up with a bunch of things I guess we'll find out eventually <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you in the comments are yelling at me saying I definitely did something wrong, I probably should have prepped it or something, but this is what we're at and I'm gonna deal with it, don't worry, I'll figure something out. I'm gonna go do some research, so. The spooky video is not going to be filmed tonight because I need to figure out what to do with that. So, it is the next day, and I bought all of the painting supplies, probably the wrong ones, but we will be dealing with that later when I have a few extra hands to help me out. Um, for right now, I am about to film three or four videos, I haven't decided yet, and so I'm going to do my makeup, because my face is very red, and I don't want to put on a lot of foundation, but, yeah, you probably didn't want to be that close, but it's a situation so so if you just want to hang out and have a little chat while I mess up my face further then keep on watching because it's gonna be fun I'm filming this video right around Halloween time and this video won't go up for probably a month or two um, but how was your Halloween at this point it's probably long gone but how was it when it was here cuz mine hasn't come yet and I don't think I'm doing anything for it but I'm still going to have a grand old time. Girls out there who wear makeup, I really need your opinion on something. How often do you clean your makeup brushes? I've had these makeup brushes for over a year and I've only cleaned them once. And I know how disgusting that is. But let me know if like you're one of the people who are like super good about cleaning them all the time or if you're like me and like never clean them and then wonder why you have acne like you would think I would catch on at some point but apparently not Okay, 
So my makeup is done and this eye gave me lots of struggles but I am going to put one more thing on and you will see. Okay, I've never done my hair like this, like two little ponytails in the back, but I kind of dig it. I don't know why, but I kind of dig it, so my bangs look crazy, but I put on some lipstick, which I never wear lipstick ever, but since this is a special Halloween video, I'm going to do it. I just filmed my Halloween video, so I feel so much better knowing that I filmed it, and aren't these lights super duper cute? I love them. Anyway, my phone's about to die, and all of my phone storage is taken up, so I'm going to have to figure out how the rest of this video and other videos are going to go, but I'll figure it out.